Trump right again, Sweden deporting 80,000 refugees. Trump stated the obvious, Sweden has a Sweden has a Muslim refugee problem, but the leftist media avoids the main issue again. At his Florida rally on Saturday, President Trump referred to rising crime due to Muslim refugees in Sweden. Somehow the left tried to conflate this as Trump spreading fake news about a non-existent terror attack. Despite the alleged gaffe, the damage done by Sweden's open border refugee policy is real. You look at what you look at what's happening in Germany. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. The anti-Trump media went ballistic. So the president tweeted a clarification referring to a Fox News story. Filmmaker Amy Horowitz told Tucker Carlson Friday night that the refugees Sweden accepted are linked to crime. Horowitz later told The Guardian he was gratified that Trump brought attention to the increasing problems that Sweden that Sweden is having with its open door immigration policy to the Muslim world. It's not just Sweden's refugee problem. So many in the media be became ap a pop apoplectic apoplectic at Mr. Trump's gaffe. Many liberal rags claimed Sweden had no refugee problem. If that's true, why is Sweden set to deport refugees refugees in record numbers a clamp down on accepting any more? In 2016, Sweden received over 160,000 asylum applications, the biggest influx in the EU by population proportion. 60,000 to 80,000 of these refugees will be rejected. Interior Minister Anders Yigman noted. Also, in 2016, Sweden unilaterally imposed border controls at the Oresund Bridge that connects it to Denmark. Swedish officials did so because many other EU nations would not to welcome refugees. But Sweden is not the only Scandinavian country who has figured out that it has a serious problem. Finland will also expel about 20,000 to 32,000 asylum seekers that arrived there in 2015. The ministry's administrative director reported Denmark has gone further. The country's government placed anti-refugee advertisements in Middle Eastern newspapers, announcing 50% cuts to refugee benefits and emphasizing how quickly Denmark would be able to deport them. They also imposed rigorous language and cultural tests for those seeking citizenship. These new policies locked into place a more punitive approach to Muslim refugees. The Danes have concluded that mass Muslim immigration is explosive to Danish culture. Björk Mahler of the think tank Europa explained. The Protestant nation state is having trouble handling other religions. And with the mass Muslim immigration to these nations, crime rates spiked. A, get, a Gatestone Institute study revealed a 300% increase in violent crimes in Sweden and Denmark. Crimes carried out by Muslim immigrants rose drastically in 2015 as well. Refusal to assimilate. The biggest issue, says Soren Espersen, immigration spokesperson in Denmark's parliament, is that Muslim refugees refuse to integrate or participate in its democratic institutions. The reluctance they show, the reluctance they show to Danish traditions and culture is appalling. Why would you want to go to a new place and change it to the place you left? As person also wants to declare a two-year moratorium on all new immigration from Muslim majority countries. Sounds sound familiar? Oh, and borders have been erected across Europe as well. 
President Trump is right to be concerned about the threat posed by refugees from majority Muslim countries. Europe is already doing what Trump has proposed. I'd rather our president take action before America is overrun with crime than afterwards.